Evelyn Selena's show. Once more, we are happy to uh, to talk to you again today. We want to speak about potato farming in Narok County, and we are delighted to have one of our farmers that does uh, potatoes in Narok, and we are potato farming is productive to him. So please join us. Tell yes. us your name and yeah. tell us what you do. Tell us about uh, potato farming. Thank you so much. Um, Tamo John. I'm a potato farmer from Narok uh, County, Narok North, uh, sub county of Oloro Pilwad. And um, I'm going to talk about um, potato farming. Potato farming, and I'm going to begin by saying that potato farming, initially or there before, we used to do it as a subsistence crop that is uh, for home use. But uh, because life has changed, lifestyles have changed. Today, we also take potato farming very seriously. It is also actually one of the uh, cash crops that we have. I may say it is a cash crop because today we grow it for cash crop. We use it to educate our children and uh, we actually do it commercially today. To begin with, potato farming, we are taking it seriously. And uh, as a farmer, if you want to be a very good potato farmer, the first thing that you do is to make sure that you have certified seeds. You can have certified seeds. We have, uh, uh, we have um, uh, various companies that provide uh, certified seeds. We have private companies. We have uh, government bodies like ADC, Calro. They provide us with certified seeds. We also have National Potato Council of Kenya. They also provide us with certified seeds. So the first thing you must make sure that you must have is certified seeds. Uh, the second thing is to make sure that you have good land. And the land that you have, you must take what we call soil sampling. Because must be most of the, our farmers, the mistakes that we do, we have our certified seeds. You may have fertilizers, but you do not know what your soil requires, the type of fertilizer. So you must make sure that you test your soil and it is very cheap. You also use the same. Um, we have Calro, they can assist you. Uh, we have other uh, private bodies like uh, uh, National Potato Council of Kenya, they can assist you to test your soil, know the pH, so that when it comes to um, application of fertilizer, you actually know the amount and the type of fertilizer that you require in your piece of land. Now, um, after you have got your soil tested, and because we also have diseases like nematodes, uh, we also have PCN in the soil, in order for you to make sure that you are going to have maximum profits, it is good to test your soil. Then from there, you prepare your land. You prepare your land, that is mechanization. And as a potato farmer, we usually, or I'm encouraging farmers uh, to desist from using the disc plow. The best uh, plow that you can use is chisel. Chisel makes sure that actually the, 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 those chisels, they go deeper into the soil. And because now here is a, a place where we have heavy rains, maybe most of times of the year, then you are supposed to have, you are supposed to use the chisel. Chisel makes sure that even if the rains are very heavy, we are not going to have anything like a flooding of your farm because the soil, uh, the water will go down and that is what is required by the potatoes. Then, when you have prepared your land, uh, you can decide to use mechanization in, even in planting or you use human labor. You can use either. Especially if the land is, lo is sloppy, then you cannot use uh, uh, mechanization to plant. But if the land is sloppy, then use human labor. Now, when it comes to planting, as a good potato farmer, we encourage farmers the certified seeds that we are talking about. You use the 50 kilogram bag and they are 16 in number. For each acre, you use 16 uh, bags of size one. That is the recommended, uh, the recommended number of bags that you are supposed to use per acre. Then you use two bags of uh, straight fertilizer. And today also we also have another uh, fertilizer that we have added that actually we use to neutralize the soil. If the soil is acidic, 
we use what we call evergrow fertilizer, you can broadcast it uh, in your farm, if after or even before uh, planting. Now, after you have done that, uh, there are chemicals that we are supposed to use, especially because of blight. Uh, we have fungicides that we use, we have herbicides, we have pesticides. Just like any other crop, you must protect it. You must protect it. Like the farm that we see, we are in. When you, if you are very observant, you, you can see some uh, white flies that are moving around. That means once they are in the leaves, they continue sucking. And you know this green uh, chlorophyll, that is the one that is used by the, 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 the stem deep down into the tubers to manufacture the, 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 the potato tubers now. So if these leaves are destroyed, by the pests, then it means even your yield will not be very good. So you must, we also use pesticides, we use herbicides to control uh, various diseases in, in, uh, in, 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 our, in our potatoes. Now, so as a farmer, you, are very, you must be very observant. You must go around your farm to see whether we have any white flies that are moving around. We also have cutworms, but it is good because we have so many companies today and they are freely come with come up with um, uh, these agrochemicals that actually help the farmers now when it comes to uh, the way you are supposed to protect your crop you are supposed to do it after every two weeks a fortnight you come round you check your crop if you notice that there are any like for example if we talk about a blight you are going to note some black spots on your on your on your leaves and before it comes to that, you are supposed to make sure that you protect your crop throughout. Because potato, like when you look at this leaf here, maybe I have not sprayed it. Maybe I have gone beyond the two weeks, the fortnight that I'm supposed to spray. So that means if I'm not going to do it, then I'm going to lose. And at the end of the day, what I expected to harvest in an acre, it will go down. Because these leaves are the ones that we must protect. So there is um, potato growing is expensive because today if you, you want to plant an acre then it means you go for certified seeds and each bag of certified seed is 50 kilograms and currently market rate of the 50 kilogram bag certified seeds is going for 3,500. So you must be prepared as a farmer because it means you multiply 16 uh, bags of size 1 times 3,500 then you come to the fertilizers, then you come to planting, it needs a lot of uh, preparation. But if you are a good farmer, when you do that, you have your satisfied seeds, you have tested your soil, you have used the correct uh, fertilizer. At the end of the day, when it comes to harvesting, definitely per acre, it is supposed to give you not less than 100 bags of uh, if we talk about the 50 kilogram bag, if you harvest using the 50 kilogram bag, it's supposed to give you not more, not less than 150 bags in an acre. But uh, we had the potato regulations of 2019 and it is not being used. We have brokers, they are really uh, making our farmers to suffer because we have the extended bags that are being used uh, when it comes to harvesting the potatoes. Narok North, uh, as a sub-county, we have farmers, we are growing potatoes commercially, but when it comes to selling our potatoes, we don't decide on the price. Those people who decide on the price are the brokers. So the price of potatoes keeps on fluctuating. It is up, it is down. It is up, it is down. And when we go to buy the satisfied seeds, the price never comes down. The price is ever at 3,500 and that is a 50 kilogram bag. So I will also urge the government to assist the farmers and to actually implement a potato regulation of 2019 so that even in the farms we can have our farmers selling their potatoes with the 50 kilogram bag. Because what we are doing now, we are looking for productivity and we are looking for profit. All the same. But today, Brokers are the ones who decide on the price. So it means uh, our farmers can never decide on the price of potatoes. But 
when it comes to the mechanization that you are doing, the farm inputs that you are using, you are all alone. But when it comes to selling, somebody else decides on the price of potatoes for you. So if the government can assist farmers to actually, uh, not actually, yeah, to implement the potato regulation of 2019, we are going to actually also have a lot of profit because our farmers also will be encouraged and we are going to increase the acreage uh, of uh, potato that we are doing because as, as at the moment, uh, when we look at Narok North in particular, uh, we would like to increase the number of uh, acreage that we are having under potatoes. Uh, to add on what I was talking about, uh, certified seeds, I'm one of the farmers who have actually formed um, a cooperative society and the cooperative society has gone a long way in providing uh, seeds to the farmers. So we have about 1,560 members at uh, the moment and uh, we want to increase the number of our members so that we can actually empower our farmers to grow potatoes and we are encouraging them to use certified seeds. If you are a farmer and you are still multiplying uh, uh, the seeds that you used to have on them, come to us. We have a store that we have opened for you. We have bought a piece of land and that is where we have built a diffused livestock that we want our farmers to be coming. Already we have sold over 800 bucks to our farmers. So we are encouraging our farmers to do away with the old uh, potato seeds. Let them come, buy from us, can reap benefits because of uh, what we call dividends that we shall be paying to them. We have also opened an agrovet for them. So there are going to be a lot of benefits uh, if you join La Newark Farmers Cooperative Society. We have been licensed by the government uh, through KEFIS to provide certified seeds for our farmers.